What's up world, it's your man Dominic D. Hargrove, Slight Edge Performance Program. Quick video for you. Three reasons to do what you love. Three reasons to do what you love, guys. It's so important to do what you love. We're gonna talk about three specific reasons that came to my mind to do what you love. Don't forget, email me at IamTheSlightEdge at gmail.com. I love your responses, I love your feedback. Uh, ask me to email you the PDF, Mind States by Michael Landgraf. I will e send you that free email, Mind States. He breaks down the five brainwave states, gamma, beta, alpha, theta, delta, the importance of even be becoming aware and understanding your brainwave frequencies, your brainwave thoughts. I'm a big reader, so I'll send that to you for free. Let's get right into it. Three reasons to do what you love. The first reason to do what you love is you actually discover what you love. I believe, you know, uh, in the concept of a dream within a dream within a dream. We hear people say, I'm living the dream. We hear people say, I want to make my dreams come true. We hear people say, I want to accomplish my dreams. But what does that really mean to you? So when we talk about that, we got to talk about consciousness. We got to talk about your conscious uh, waking state. We got to talk about your subconscious aspect of your mind. We, gotta, we can talk about the super conscious. That's a little later down the road. But the the first reason to do what you love is you actually discover what you love. I remember in uh, I played uh, recreation football like in sixth grade, seventh grade, middle school. When I got to ninth grade, I did not play high school football. My best friends at the time were playing freshman football, and they approached me after my ninth grade year and said, "Man, you should play football." And you know, I, I said, "You know what?" At that time, the University of Miami was popping. They were the best college football team probably ever since. So many pros went to the NFL from that University of Miami football team back in 2000, 2001, 2002 when I was in high school watching them on TV. And so I decided to play football and that ended up to getting a college scholarship that ended up to becoming a professional trainer, helping guys make it to the NFL. It was an awesome, awesome thing. I say that to say that I discovered what I learned inside of football. You're going to discover what you learn. Say it's football, right? Yes, I was playing football. I love the game of football as far as being an athlete. I played cornerback. I made interceptions. I played defense. I love playing offense, catching the ball as a wide receiver, scoring touchdowns. But not only the uh, flashiness of the game and the excitement of the game and the rewards of the game of being a student athlete and a college athlete, but I also love teamwork. I love the aspect of working as a team. I love the aspect of getting better as a team. I like the aspect of, yes, be a playmaker, be a superstar, but also Michael Jordan, also a uh, star player. It's a team sport, basketball, football, lacrosse. These are team sports, and I like the aspect of team sports because there's so many other aspects that unveil themselves, like mentorship, discipline. All of these things lead up to success, so that's why my program, Slight Edge Performance Program, is engaged towards student athletes, professional athletes, both former and current, is because it's a, it's a journey as a student athlete. And there's so many things we can learn from playing sports to apply in real life. So the first thing, reason to do what you love is that you actually discover what you love. It's actually a self-revealing process. You discover what you love. Think of Michael Jordan. You know, you, you gain, uh, uh, which leads me to my second point. You mature. You mature in the specialized knowledge of what you learn. So if you really love it, if you're really doing what you love, it might be art. It might be uh being an engineer, you might like plumbing, you might like being a doctor, you might like culinary, you may love reading and teaching philosophy and metaphysics and spiritual uh, uh, knowledge, whatever you, whatever you love to do. The second reason to do it, to continuously do it, is because you're going to mature in the specialized knowledge of what you love. You're going to mature in it. You can think about it, the compounding of time if you do that thing that you say you love. You're going to get better. You're going to mature in the specialized knowledge of it. That's one, one reason I really like Michael Jordan and I look up to Michael Jordan's mindset because he always talks about the game, the game, not only shooting the ball in the hoop. But the aspects of the game, the teamwork of the game, the, the unique fundamentals of the game is why I look up to Michael Jordan. I like his mindset and I like his attitude. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's all about mindset and attitude.
just going to create your success. So you're going to discover what you love. You're going to grow in the specialized knowledge and mature of what you love. And you're going to ultimately learn how to express yourself. You're going to learn how to express your soul. That's why I love sports, guys. Because sports is a platform to uh, discover more who you are. Sports is a platform to discover the aspects of teamwork, to discover the aspects of perseverance, to discover the aspects of discipline. I like team sports and I love sports as a platform to help you express yourself. So many students, if they didn't have sports, uh, so many people, if they didn't have sports um, or any other outlet, they wouldn't have any other outlet or means to release that stress or release that pain or release, you know, some of the negative things we experience as humans. So the third reason to do what you love is you're going to learn to express yourself. You're going to learn to express your soul. There's a, a scripture, I think it's in Proverbs that I really love. It says the desire accomplished is sweet to the soul. So not only does your physical human uh, physiology uh, experience sweetness, like when I eat that pecan ice cream on my uh, peanut butter cup cookie warmed up, or I eat that nice delicious uh, uh, um, T-bone or ribeye steak with uh, green beans on the side, whatever, not only does my physiology uh, experience sweetness and joy, but the Bible says that the desire accomplished is sweet to the soul. What good is to gain the whole world and to lose our soul? We heard that verse before. So, guys, three reasons to do what you love. Whatever it is, find that passion. Find that definite major purpose. In what you love may be hidden another tool that's going to help take you to the next level in your life. Do what you love, guys. Three reasons to do what you love. Share this video. Send me your emails to imtheslightedge at gmail.com. Don't forget, go to imtheslightedge.com. Order you double X, guys. Email me. Ask me about my food technology phytonutrient program. We're helping to educate people about how to communicate optimal health to your body at the cellular level. Go to my website, order Nutrilite Double X. There's a money back guarantee on it. I guarantee you, you will enjoy it, guys. That's it. Peace.